starting off in the village of Milnathort, we'll head up the Path of Condy Trail towards the village of Dunning. Once we reach Dunning, we'll head for the town of Ochderarder. And after passing through Ochderarder, we'll end up at our final destination, the Glen Eagles Hotel. Well, good morning everyone, and welcome to this next mini e-bike tour. Triumph Trekker GT does long way up Path of Condé. It's a beautiful spring morning again in Scotland, can't believe it, got a blue sky again. And I'm really looking forward to today's journey on the trekker. So here we are on the Path of Condé. And it's been uphill all the way, but not a problem. It's been quite easy for me on the trekker. No effort required. So I've just been passed by a runner. I think I'll need to catch him up. Well, a gorgeous day for a ride. It was recommended because of the hills, so I'm especially pleased to do it knowing that I'll have enough more than enough battery power to get back and do it all again if I want so here we are coming into our first village of Mid Middleton here's our cyclist I think we'll see quite a few bikers out today all right and again one of the reasons for taking up e-biking is that this is taking me along this road I've never been on this road before I've never been to Ochderarder before I'm gonna to get to see places I otherwise wouldn't wouldn't even bother going to see all right oh look at that hill Well, we're still on the path of Condé. That's been really interesting. Lots of hills, but small hills. Lots of up and downs. If you've seen any of my other vlogs, all the hills have been long and gradual. But this is a, a totally, totally different uh, terrain. This is this is more like a bit more like the Scottish Borders, and it's been great. I've really enjoyed it. I'm still on the path of Condé. I'm not sure how far I've got to go to to get to um, Ochterarder yet, but. Um, it's been great. It's it's not even that windy up here. You can probably actually hear me okay on the camera this time. So uh, I'm going to continue onwards. Forgotten my tripod. What a pain. I think it's because I spent all that time organising my portable canteen. So in the distance you can see that road that I've just come down, it snakes all the way down and then comes all the way up and there are even car Subarus 
struggling to get up this road and I've seen the G GS Adventure bikes taking it really slowly going down this bend and it goes on, it goes on, but I'm, I'm keeping up I'm keeping up with everyone else on this trekker, it's amazing everyone's taking it easy here so uh, it's taking me a bit longer than most people because I'm filming of course but uh, what an amazing day, what an amazing road uh, I'm so glad I came out today Now we're still on the, on the path of Condé, we're heading for Dunning and I think this trip really epitomises what the trekker is all about. This is the kind of journey that the trekker is designed for. Lots of hills, lots of narrow tracks and just enjoying being in the countryside. Now I would say that on the trekker, as long as your bike's fully charged up, use the battery power. I always use it, even on a slight incline, I use the power. On a steeper incline, I hit the normal mode. It's there to be used. Don't, don't skimp on it for fear of running out of battery power. You'll get 100 odd miles out of this bike uh, with eco and a bit of normal modes. So it's there to be used. Use it. That's how to ride this bike. So I don't know if I've been to Dunning before, but I'm looking forward to getting there. I think that's where we'll have our first uh, tea break. If I can find a nice picnic area that I can set up the, the burner on. I'm now 10 miles into the journey and I'm feeling fine. Feeling absolutely fine. And uh, we're gonna actually end up passing through Glen Devon where we were a couple of trips ago. We're also gonna be heading for Glen Eagles. But first we've got to get to Ochterarder, which I've never been to before. I've just come out of Dunning and I noticed this. Look at this amazing memorial to a witch. Maggie Wall, burnt here alive in 1657 as a witch. Isn't that amazing? Look, there's even a. Some people have left some little memorial decorations, little shells here. Oh, look at this. Isn't that amazing? I must research this when I get back. Maggie Wall burnt here. Fantastic. Oh well, onwards to uh, Ochterard or somewhere that way. Lots of cyclists out today. So here we are, we're in Ochterard for the first time ever. All right. Our second last stop before Glen Eagles Hotel. So I'm just taking it easy along the high street here. Lovely sunny day. So I've finally arrived here at my final destination, the Glen, world famous Glen Eagles Hotel. 
And the reason why this hotel is so important to me is because uh, this is where my grandparents met when they were both working in the kitchen department. So if it hadn't been for this building behind me, I wouldn't be making this video right now. So uh, it's good to make a, a pilgrimage to this uh, amazing place. Um, now I've done 22 miles, only used one bar of power on the bike. So uh, fantastic journey. I'm heading to Glen Devon next. So join me in a bit. Of course, we can't leave Glen Eagles Hotel without getting a couple of shots of the world famous golf course. So on the left, we've got a lovely pond, pond area there. And we've got all the golf carts here. I'm not into golf myself, but it's a nice, makes a nice image. We've got this fantastic backdrop here. Isn't this amazing? So we say farewell to Glen Eagles Hotel and we're going to head back for Glen Devon. So that's me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. That, that has been a fantastic ride today. We're at uh, 23 miles. I think it's going to be a bit more than 30 miles by the time I get back. It's been thoroughly enjoyable. We'll see you next time.